Recently, some American politicians and media have been hyping up a theory claiming overcapacity in China's new energy industry. However, the ratio of export to production for Chinese new energy vehicles is far lower than that of Germany, Japan and the ROK. Taking examples of Chinese new energy vehicle brands BYD, Great Wall Motors, and NIO. Data indicate that these three companies collectively hold only 1.1% of the European market share. According to the estimates of the International Energy Agency, based on the announced carbon neutrality targets, by 2030, global demand for new energy vehicles will reach 45 million, 4.5 times that of 2022, and global demand for new photovoltaic installations will also soar. The challenge facing the world is not overcapacity, but a severe shortage of capacity in the new energy sector. The China overcapacity accusation may look like an economic discussion, but the truth is, the accusation is built on false logic. All countries produce and export products of the comparative advantage and this is the nature of international trade. If the US logic of overcapacity holds, the US is the world's largest overcapacity country. The US exports 80% of its chips, especially advanced chips, and is a large exporter of pork and agricultural products. Industry insiders and experts believe that the real motive behind the hype about the overcapacity theory in China is that the United States finds it hard to face the growing strength of the Chinese EV industry. The US is essentially using the overcapacity narrative to kneecap other countries' strong industries and practice protectionism. This is nothing but bullying. Abandoning the hegemonic mindset, keeping an open mind, playing fair, observing market economy principles and international trade rules, providing a truly world-class, market-oriented and law-based environment for trade and economic cooperation, and working with the rest of the world to advance universally beneficial and inclusive economic globalization, is the cure to US over-anxiety.